Terrestrial, as Rich mentioned, weather forecast out here. We got showers, few thunderstorms as well. We're going to continue to watch out for as we go ahead through this afternoon. That southwesterly flow continues to dominate. That's going to set up on the East Coast sea breeze as we go ahead through this afternoon. And once again, showers and thunderstorms. We, we, today we do have a weather impact alert in place because I think it's going to be a bit more scattered. So if you want to go out for a run today, well, the morning good. It's going to be humid, but by this afternoon, not going to be great weather. Two reasons. One, it's hot. Temperatures into the 90s. Can't get around that. Humidity is also going to make that heat index up at over 100, but also 80% of us are going to be looking at showers. About 3 to 7 o'clock, that's where you'll be seeing the uh, the peak of that rainfall. Heat index up and over, not only over 100, nearly 107 degrees here later on today. So how about that weather impact alert? Now, remember, we issue these. We're expecting an impact on your day. Uh, basically, just giving you a heads up, not trying to hype it or anything like that, but we do want to let you know so you can plan accordingly. And starting about 3 o'clock, we're going to see those storms bubble up, move in from the west, and uh, that's going to continue all the way out to this evening. Heavy rain, got those thunderstorms as well. So be weather aware, drive safely, and have a way to maybe get notifications. The First Coast News app, a little promotion for our station here, does have a setting that you can get notified wherever you are of those severe weather warnings. So yeah, we got the jumbo shrimp game going on. Fingers crossed. I'm hoping it doesn't get rain. It got rained out yesterday, which is reason why uh, there is a double header today. Instead of starting at seven, it starts at five. But uh, yeah, we have rain in the forecast out here. Look at this two, three, four o'clock. You got those storms moving in from the west and this is at 630. Much like the last few days, but a little bit more widespread today. Thunderstorms all along the I-95 corridor and a few of those could become strong to severe again. Not as stormy on Sunday. Still hot, still going to be some rain, but they're more than likely going to be a little bit further towards the west of the Jacksonville area with on and off showers throughout the upcoming week and temperatures staying 